Good morning. How'd you get on yesterday? Opening for the newly promoted Leicester, having to come from behind against Spuds. No real trade for me at all. Very difficult to read. Wonder why some of these big guns were on the bench. Not a first 11 to start off with. A lot of absentees. Very strong bench. This market has been suspended. Although uh, he couldn't hit a cow's ass with a banjo these days, Timo Werner. Kulisewski on the bench, Richarlison as well. Uh, so it could have been a stronger Tottenham side, but a good start from Leicester. Excellent start from Atalanta this season. Not expecting a 4-0 win, the market, that's for sure. 2.1, but a really solid performance. Either they're hot or this lot are gettable. One or the other. Welcome to the uh, Serie A for Como. And what a welcome it was. 1.55 favourite again. Above expectations, the scoreline. Scoreline is normally about a 1.3 or lower type of scoreline. 3 0. Emphatic stuff. No trading angle at all. Unless there was an in play stats feed and you saw the possibility of a goal before half time. So really good stuff in Serie A from the big guns, starting the season off very well. Atletico Madrid, well, weren't helped by the signing of Alvarez. Did he play? No, he didn't. No, Alvarez, yeah, he's on the bench. So he came on a, a little bit later. 2-2 result, very good result for Villarreal, the yellow submarine. Nicolas Pepe, excellent uh, winger, ex of Arsenal. How did the match eventuate? Well, Villarreal scoring first, so that could have been a possible angle in. If you kept with Atletico Madrid, you'd have had two trades there. So, possibilities, certainly, to take on Villarreal if you were solidly with Atletico Madrid. Well done to the Turkish Yorkshireman. Nora Batty will be delighted. Alan Titchmarsh uh, over the moon with a 4-1 win in their opener in the Super League. <clears throat> Could be followable this season in a expectation of struggling a bit later on down the line, the newly promoted side. Emphatic stuff from our horse, really solid. Martiguez, newly promoted, playing Lorient, newly relegated. And Lorient came off on top, as really was expected. But it's only one goal in it. Possibility to lay the draw. Second half, if the stats suggested a breakthrough. And it was one-way traffic, wasn't it? Which side would you have uh, been with yesterday? Emphatic. This is the importance of in-play stats. It can give you an obvious angle in. The German Cup. Well, Werder Bremen were just unbelievable. Absolutely bossed Copper City Limits. Tina Turner's favourite team. 13 shots on target. So it's seven shots on, four off and eight corners. That was just in the first half. So when you see stats like that, expect the possibility of a goal before half time. What they would normally do, 0-1, 0-2, any other away score. Just in case that 0-2 pops up and you'll get a really good profit in a half time score market. And a hat-trick for top yesterday. Excellent stuff. Is he someone to watch out for in the Bundesliga? We will see. No real other shocks yesterday. The Wolf getting through. Was it nil-nil at halftime? No, 15th minute. And Antrak Frankfurt expected to win and opened up the scoring. Possibility there. Laying that draw and expecting Frankfurt to score first would have yielded a nice gain. Bit of a shock result in Poland, or was it a shock? I wouldn't have traded, I don't think. Two very late goals, so it wouldn't have been a play, taking on a 2-0 lead with only six minutes to go. And Famila Sao, just to mention for them, they've started the season off very strongly with that win against uh, Benfica, and now they've got three goals away at Estrella. Have they made some significant changes pre-season? Because it's really hot coming out of this with five goals and two matches without conceding. Could be a side to follow, or is this just the enthusiasm of the start of a new season? 
today. Predominantly Champions League day today. So I don't know if I'll be about first legs. You know, second legs are far easier to get trading angles in because you've got the first leg scoreline. So I might not be about for these matches, uh, particularly with a kickoff and only a handful of Champions League matches. I don't want to stay up till 2 a.m. for three or four matches. Dinamo Zagreb and Karabag. And we might not get any trading angles. These are very tough matches to unpack. Both teams to score, says the stats. Over two and a half goals, potential first half goals as well. We will see. Bodo Glimp, we know very well from Norway and Red Star Belgrade. Let's have a look at the uh, research. Both teams to score again and over two and a half goals naturally. Both teams have a tendency to score early as well. But that's in their respective leagues, so I'm not sure how strong those angles are. These are this is a one slash two off match, isn't it? Got the second leg next week. Lille got that win at the weekend uh, against 10 men. Very handy of them to have a, an easy handle in. Slavia Prague got the win as well against Tepliche. Again, it's very difficult to unpack. But so take your cues from the market. Who do they fancy? 1.73 for Lille. French League just beginning. And Noah parked the arc, they say. And he must have parked the arc against AEK Athens. And at home, where they've kept three clean sheets in four matches in four wins. So watch out for Noah. Not bad for a 600-year-old. And that is about that for today. I'm unlikely to be doing any telegramming this evening. It's just not uh, the kind of t coupon I want. But we'll get far better football a bit later. Those of you who want to play the English National League, by all means do. I'm not going to be venturing this far down south. Uh, English League 1, English League 2. You've seen already the problems we get in playing in these lower tiers. EFL Trophy might have me uh, up this evening. I just noticed. Oh, pretty cat arrived. So uh, that could be worth it. Under 21s predominantly today. We've got a lot of familiar names. Barnsley, Chesterfield, Reading, Rotherham and Mansfield. It's been a good competition. Certainly early season uh, cup competitions have been really tradable. Professional Development League. You'll be looking for over two and a half goals potentially with this. It's an early kickoff, so I might do some experimenting today with placing over two and a half goal plays at different stages in a match. See if we can come up with a technique or an angle. It's a what I would do with my over two and a half goals quest would be to focus on the leagues which have a strong bias towards goals. And you could go even deeper and look at the teams. For example, we could pick one here. Look at the head-to-head. -head. You can see that. Well, two, two nils, just under two and a half goal. But when are the goals being scored? First half or second half? If they're being scored first half, then they are trading, tradable. Both second half. So that's difficult. But certainly for their opponent... Six, four, two, seven, six total goals. Wow. So potential, real potential for over two and a half goals there. That really is about that. So it's not the most compelling coupon on the planet. Second legs are where you're going to find your angles. But there might be a trade or two to be had in the EFL Cup. But uh, likely... It's going to be a quiet one for me this evening. Waiting for a better coupon. Swedish Cup as well. Early enough kickoffs. Some familiar names. Trelleborg, Sirius from the top top flight, I think. Helsingborg, unbackable. So get out your 5 0, 7 0, 9 0 score lines. Tennis with the US Open qualifiers on. We should start getting excited about the US Open. It's still on the qualify, qualifying mode at the moment. I'm not sure I played qualifiers. But uh, the US Open, if the, if the uh, matches are on at a 
reasonable time. And certainly I can follow this for you because we had some success with France and with Wimbledon as well, the summer Grand Slams. So have a great day today. Likely to be a quiet one for me unless the EFL Cup grabs my attention. So only a handful of late kickoffs, highly unlikely to tempt me out onto Telegram for you. Have a great day. See you again tomorrow.